Hey guys, it's Jasmine here. I'm back with another tutorial. Um, I well, the tutorial is this look, obviously, this nice, like, red eye. Um, it was a bit impromptu because I think right now the time is. MC, what's the time? 8:01. 8:21. It's 8:21. It's not too bad in the evening. Um, I don't know what this look is about. Um, it was inspired by I can't remember her name but I will tag her in the description below um, but yeah I'm really feeling this look honestly like I look so nice right now look at that highlight fortunately I'm wearing false eyelashes like singles because um, my eyelashes are falling out which happens when you get eyelash extensions but yeah I'm just really loving this look honestly I wish I had somewhere to go but I don't but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial um I know it's kind of trash the girls <laughs> not it's trash but I know it looks a bit bad as I'm as it's going along but it all turns out to look like this so if you li like to see how I got this look please continue watching it and I'll see you in the next one bye hey guys so right now I'm just concealing my eyebrows and um, I like to do that first before I do my foundation because it's just easier oh and I'm also pre prepping my face for some like boots facial spray I can't remember what it is but I'll put it down in the description bar below I am now concealing first kind of concealing and color correcting with Kat Von D's um, concealer in D37 warm um, honestly it's so difficult finding shades here in Singapore I don't know like I think my face makeup is all a mess but like as you can see right there it looks it kind of blends into my skin and I feel like my skin's like a weird shade and it's just hard to find foundations because either they're too red or they're too golden or they're too neutral or they're too warm so I need like a mix of them in between so if you guys can find any please let me know yeah so I'm just kind of lightly buffing that in and then I kind of gave up halfway there <laughs> then I'm using the hourglass foundation stick in almond um that too yeah not liking the shade of that as well but I bought it so anyway um, I started off first with a stippling brush but then I changed my mind and went to a buffing brush from Real Techniques because it just is quicker and easier. Um, yeah, I see it's a bit ashy on my forehead but I've been, I literally have just, I've been trying to properly wear sunscreen now. Like I've been wearing it for ages but I kind of forgot as I got to Singapore so yeah. And then I'm using the NYX um, foundation in Mocha. That too is a bit on the red side as well. I don't know what's happening guys. Okay, just roll the punches, it'll all be fine. I actually love the formula of that foundation. I think it, it's just, I don't know, it just glides on nicely. But as you see, I'm wearing like three different like products on my face already. But it does give like a full coverage look and it stays on. And I've realized that the NYX um, foundation, the Hourglass and the Kat makes a great mixture and it's, it's literally long lasting. Now I'm taking my Rihanna matchstick in a, an espresso. Um, I love this matchstick. I've had this for since it came out and it's still like there's loads in there and I use it about every day. Then I'm taking my fawn concealer in my fawn concealer from LA Girl Cosmetics and um, yeah, just highlighting really. Um, I've kind of changed up my nose contour routine of late anyway. So yeah. In my next videos, probably see like a lot of makeup looks a bit different, but yeah, just blend that in under the chin. Honestly, look how sharp that contour is, it's beautiful. Um, oh, also, I'm using that Kat Von D concealer brush, it works perfect for nose contour. Like, if you want a contour brush for your nose, I highly, highly recommend getting that Kat Von D concealer brush. But all these stuff and products will be in the description below, so that way you'll be able to find out what products I used and what shades and whatnot. Um, I also got this Beauty Bender from Sephora. It's the, it's the Beauty Bender, it's that company, the Beauty Bender. Um, but I really hate it, but I'm still gonna use it because I bought it. Um, it just feels different from the other Beauty Blenders. I don't know why, it just feels strange. Like, I only bought a new one because my other one ripped in half. And I thought, okay, yeah, that'd be good. Um, yeah, I don't know. The Real Techniques um, brush, not brush, sponge is actually really good for setting your makeup 
because you have to use like spray it a little bit and then it's perfect and it's because the angles and the shape of it it just goes in nicely but i don't actually like it for foundation i just i think it's just too much work with that sponge oh, i'm also using the rcma um no color powder um i think it I don't think it leaves me ashy. I'm actually liking it. Plus, like, it makes the makeup stays on all day. Because I actually bought that Laura Mercier dark powder and I haven't really reached for it that much. I Like, I thought it would be good, but... Mm. As you can see, my beautiful Jaclyn Hill palette, which is still slightly white. Um, unfortunately, I can't remember... I don't know where the packet with um, the names of the shades I use. So I'm just going to try to describe this as much as I possibly can. I took, like, a taupey shade first and I'm just packing that on my eye but like halfway through I was like oh no I need to like actually change this eyeshadow but anyway I did my brows by the way and I used the NYX micro brow pencil in black and the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow dip but yeah it's like I just kind of mix some colors about and just like apply it onto my eyes to be honest I'm not that good with eyeshadow like I don't really wear eyeshadow on an everyday basis, but I love to collect eyeshadows, so it's kind of weird. Yeah. Um, this color is like an orangey red. I don't know. Like, I think the lighting here is also off because MT, f like, he accidentally threw away my ring light um, cable that makes it turn on, and so I had to like improvise. So yeah. Also, these brushes I'm using on my eye, and half of them using my face, actually from Spectrum brushes, and. Believe me, I've had these brushes for a year or so or more and they're still just as soft and they work perfectly fine. They're like the best cheap synthetic brushes ever. Oh, I also put some powder on the corner of my eyes just so that the eyeshadow is more sharp when I'm done blend it, like blending. Oh, and this Jaclyn Hill palette doesn't have any fallout. Like, I haven't noticed the fallout and I didn't tap away. So I think it's actually a really good palette. I don't not really you know i'm actually you know i'm not even gonna get to it anyway just taking bobby brown um eyeshadow brush and just blending that same shade on the bottom of my eye and then taking this nyx micro mascara which is kind of rubbish but i use it anyway it's actually good if you have if you have eyelashes i highly recommend it um and then i'm just taking another spectrum brush and just using the same palette just going in with like a charcoaly shade and now I'm taking my Colourpop bronzer. Um, it's like a bronzer highlighter. It's the darkest one. I don't know um, what it's called because I tried to look at the bottom and it just says bronzer. So I ain't gonna. I can't. I'll just tab. I'll just put it in the description bar below, okay? Because I can't bother to do all that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just blend that into my forehead and into my hair and a bit on my nose. And then I go back in to clean my nose again because I just like to be extra precise. But actually, my contour routine has literally changed in the past couple of days. So, um, my nose contour routine has changed, so, yeah. And then, baking under my face as well. Getting that sharp cheekbone effect that everyone loves. Um, yeah. I'm just, like, buffing that all in. That's This brush is from... Um, what's it called? It's from... Oh my god, I can't remember. I need to find it now. This brush is from Giorgio Armani, yes. Um, and I use it just usually for powder and buffing things in. And sometimes blush. And now I'm spraying my face with the um, NYX Dewy Mist Spray. Honest to God, this spray is the best spray ever, okay? You have to get it. It's beautiful, especially if you're in a hot place. It sets the makeup, but it gives you that dewy effect. It's just, it's just beautiful. Um, and for like my face moles, I'm using the Sephora colorful eyeliner in it's waterproof and I don't know it's like a brown shade it was really hard to figure out what it is but realistically even though it comes out brown it dries like into like a charcoal -y color it looks really natural for darker skins because it just makes it look like you have freckles it does if you want to do a freckle effect that's what it basically looks really nice on our skin um honestly this sleek Cleopatra kiss palette right i've been wanting this palette for three four years okay or whenever it came out and i never got it because i just it just skipped my mind this is the best highlighter palette ever it makes my skin look glowy within like the creamy shades does and then when i add that powder highlight oh my god it's like why did i ever buy any other highlighter in the planet 
it's beautiful it just looks amazing on my skin i would highly recommend you get it it's beautiful but yeah just highlight everywhere you people normally highlight especially the nose you can't miss the nose and in the corner i'm actually thinking about not highlighting my nose tip for once i don't know how i feel about it i'm just gonna have to try and see but it looks amazing in pictures that's why oh for my lips this is my go-to nude lip color that you've seen on all of my instagram if you follow me it's nimse 12 it's in the color nutmeg it's in nutmeg from nyx sorry that's the shade nutmeg oh my god it's perfect it's perfect color it's my everyday lip okay i wear it all the time um but yeah did you spend ages drawing that on and here's the final look i hope you guys like this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one bye